Muhammad was in cave, and then yeah. the angel messenger sent a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, where did where did that messenger appear for Muhammad in the bow of a cloud? Where the messenger of Judaism appeared? Where the messenger of Christianity appeared? Where the messenger of the Native American religion appeared? Where the messenger of Buddhism appeared? Where the it's the same messenger? Do you get it? Just, there's only one. Yeah, there's only one God. One God, uh, same same angels, same devils, everything, same. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. So in Christianity, they don't know. When, like in the Bible, it tells you, Jesus, you can see Jesus Christ, that a body of light, in the bow of a cloud. Well, that's where Muhammad, huh? And Jesus Christ is also known as our prophet. One yeah, our but not the prophet. son of God. A prophet, but not the son of God. Yeah, yeah, prophet. It's known as one of our prophets. Now we're going to get somewhere. In, Christ, in, in the beginning of Islam, they stick to the truth. You can see Jesus, this prophet, isn't the son of God. It's a body of light in the bow of a cloud. That's what right. in Christianity? Well, in Christianity, Jesus was born in the flesh. A, a very literal interpretation is the son of God born in the flesh and is God. Because we don't know, they don't know how to understand without an education. When you're reading that information, you don't know what it means, but that body of light, that messenger that was the birth of Judaism, Islam, Christianity, yeah. Buddhism, Hinduism, right? That light turns into our daily bread and our last supper. Yeah. Right? That messenger <laughs> turned into my daily bread and my last supper. It turns into wine. The blood and body of Christ. Just people in, in Christianity don't understand what they mean by born in the flesh. And it's easy for a lot of uh, corrupt Christians to lie about what it says. Or about what it means. So, so, I mean, in, if you actually pay attention to the details, the Quran is telling you the exact same thing the Bible is, just in a different language. Yeah. And the Quran and the, the Quran and the Bible are saying the exact same thing as Judaism, as the Torah, just in a different language. They all say the exact same thing. The only thing that separates them is cultural linguistics. Some things don't translate, so you have to find a different word. Yeah, and there is one thing uh, I heard. Like, uh, yeah, it's the fact that uh, every book that was sent was by by one God that we all believe in, and uh, the uh, and I heard that the when the when the book was sent, for example, to Judaism uh, by by prophets uh, as my in my in my religion, uh, it said that the book was changed. The people changed the book. Like, now we're we're, we're going to get somewhere. Yeah, one day, the, the Torah. Hold on. Like, okay. I just want the, to finish my point. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, the book was changed, and like, uh, I don't know the reason why it was changed. It was just changed by people who were just like learning it, or because they felt a bit difficult or didn't like the understanding. Rules. Now we're yeah. getting somewhere. It was changed because people don't understand. Now you're saying the Torah was given to you. By prophets. We know today, if you study Judaism, they tell you the Torah came from men, slaves who escaped Egypt. All of the information for the Torah, the Bible, and Quran are st is still written on pyramids today. Okay. Right? So you, you have the, the, the Quran basically is Aramaic translation of some information written on pyramids. The Torah is Jewish Hebrew information translation of some information written on some pyramids. The Bible, Christian translations of some information that is written on some pyramids. But that original information still sits there. Ah, uh, yeah, right? I get it. This is fat. Like it doesn't. This was it's a, the Torah. They can say the information came from some prophets to them. We can say the Quran came from some prophets to them. We can say the Bible came to some prophets from them. But in reality, there's one source of information that we use to create all of those different translations. It's information on some pyramids all over the world. 
pyramids. I don't get what what does it do with the pyramids. High raw glyphs. You know uh, you know who Ra is in Egypt? Ra? No, no. R Ra. Ra, the messenger. Now this is interesting. The messenger of Muhammad is Ra from Egypt. The messenger of Judaism is Ra from Egypt. The messenger of Christianity is Ra from Egypt. The mess it's all the same one. Ra, you mean every single person is you you saying that everything that was sold in other books are the same person? It's that... the it's hard to I don't it's hard to tr translate the linguistics. There's there's one body of light. That's the, where, where the source came from. There you go. There's one one source. Yes. That's where it was. Okay, spread. now we're getting somewhere. Yes. Now Christianity states the information was given to them for the Bible. Judaism states the information was given to them for the Torah. Islam states the information was given to them for the Quran, but in real life, the information still sits there for any man who wants to read it. I get it. So it's there is only one source which these books came from. Yes, pyramids. Pyramids. Right, now we're getting somewhere. All of the information in the Quran mm. is written in pyramids in South America and the Middle East. All of the information in the Bible is written on pyramids in South America in the Middle East. All the information in the in the Torah is written on pyramids in South America in the Middle East. There's one source. I guess. There's, there's one source. And a, a, now we just have different people claiming that that one source only picked them. No, it's one source, and the information is used all over the world. I get it. What do you say about uh, people who don't believe in God at all? Like they well, believe, that, 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 they now believe people who don't believe in God. Now we're going to get some. What do I say about that? People who don't believe in God don't believe in God because Abrahamic religions don't want to tell the truth. Right? Islam, Judaism, Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism. People don't believe in God because all of these religions just lie. That's what they think. No, that's we know that's we know we know the the w when we wrote the torah the bible and the quran you were told this contains an apocalypse it's not the truth it has the truth hidden in it today you have evil men going no it's facts these are facts the torah the bible and the quran were never facts they're information copied off some pyramids so then you get you, so if i can read like i can read uh Pyramids in South America, and I can read pyramids in the Middle East, right? I read the information and go, hey, wait a minute. The Torah and the Bible and the Quran came from here? And you have people who wrote those books going, no, 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 no. This is the, what we're telling you is that you go, the facts of reality are the information exists on some pyramids. So if you're going to tell me your book is true, facts, I don't believe in God because your book isn't 100% right. Nobody's is. Really? In real life. That's what we have. Not, people don't believe in God because Islam, Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, none of the people will tell the truth. Nobody will tell the truth because it makes a lot of money. Like, well, what do you mean nobody will tell the truth? Like, uh... how, how, did, how, how do, how do you, did you know you could see the messenger of Islam? I could see no, because... No, now we're getting some. Yes, you can. But you don't know that, because people won't tell you the truth. You can see... Christians can see the messenger of Christianity. Hindus can see the messenger of Hinduism. But we huh. don't... Now we're getting study. Now, on those pyramids that we use to get the information to write the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, there's information for you to see the messenger who spoke to Muhammad. For you to see the messenger that spoke to Christianity... Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Native American, everyone. They tell you how to, now we're getting somewhere. They tell you how to see it if you research. But you don't want to research. You just want to believe everything you read. No, but uh, in the Quran, it said that uh, 
the messenger, the last messenger was Prophet Muhammad. And after that, like, there will be no messengers, no prophets at all. Now we're getting, that's a lie. That's, that's a lie. Until the end of the day. Uh, end of now, the day. now we're getting, now we're getting, till the end of the day. The end of yeah. what day? That, uh, uh, the. Now you're getting somewhere. I'll till the end of the day, what? Till somebody, the end, the end of us pretending you can't see the, the pro, you can't see the messenger, right? Muhammad is the last prophet. Yes. Until you discover how to see the, the messenger. How do I discover it? Uh, research how, uh, research what a tabernacle, monstros, and sun disc do. The devices that were used to create Abrahamic religions. Now we're getting somewhere. He's the last prophet until you get to see the messenger. No, he's the last prophet until the end of the day of judgment. Yeah, judgment. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. If, if your book is telling you, if you've been led to believe you can't see the messenger of your religion, there's judgment coming for the men who lied. It's a lie. Now you're under, you're under, you can see the, me, the messenger who spoke to Muhammad. You can see it. How? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> now, yeah, educate your, now I'm telling you, how, how, did, how, did, how did Judaism and Christianity see it before Muhammad did? You want to know how Muhammad saw it? Study how Christianity and Judaism saw it. There, now I'm, I'm helping you. in real life, right? You know the Torah and the Bible came before the Quran, right? Yeah. How did those men see the messenger before Muhammad? They used the uh, they used a device. I'll point. I'll, I'll give you a clue. They used a device. So if 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 men can use a device to see the messenger of Islam. Christianity, Jude, why can't you use it? Why can't you make your own device? What kind of device? I don't get it. Like Study. You know what a tavern, have you heard of a tabernacle or a monstros? No. Research those things. I'll leave you with that. Because right, I understand your, your language barrier. So um, in your language, whatever you, you learn to read the best, look up monstros and tabernacle. Monstros and tabernacle. A monstros and tabernacle is what allowed men to see the messengers of all religions. But like, as you said, the first for Quran, uh, there were uh, the Christianity book and the Jewish book uh, came to the earth. But uh, before that, the, those the, there were many prophets that wrote those that they were delivered by God. But it's, you don't understand. Reading off of a pyramid. I read a pyramid. This information came from God. I'm going to use it for Christianity. I read a pyramid. This information came from a pyramid. I'm using it for the Torah. I'm using it for Judaism. I read some information on a pyramid. Now I'm going to use it for the Quran. It came from God. Well, where did God put it? it you can say, it, fine, it came from God, but where did God put it? Well, you uh, can read it. Now we're no, getting somewhere. No, it. it was, it was in, uh, uh, the prophet saw it in, in his, in his dreams he happened in his dreams I, 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 listen to what i'm telling you it, it, he it, we can tell you it was written in dreams but in real life today you can you can read it in its original form written on pyramids is it shown to public or is it hidden yeah yeah this yeah absolutely you can you can take a tour you can pay money go to pyramids and they'll they'll they, literally there's pictures about how to see the messenger of Islam, Judaism, Christianity, every religion, but nobody pays attention. But yeah, you can you can actually t pay to get a t and somebody will take you and go here's see these pictures and then you you translate it yourself and it tells you. Okay. It tells you you can see, but now now. Why doesn't why doesn't any religion want you to, want you to why does why does Judaism not want you to see the messenger of Judaism? Why does Christianity not want you to see the messenger of Christianity? Why does Islam not want you to see the messenger of Islam? Why does Hinduism not want you to see the messenger of Hinduism? Why does Buddhism not want you to see it? I, I, everyone. Why? Because then you might under you might understand when they mean. It's only one God, right? Yeah, you, it's only one right? God, it, what I believe in. But if you understand how to see it, 
you'll be able to fact check the information in your book. Yes or no? If yeah. you could see, the, you can see, did man tell me the truth? When the man wrote this, in, were they telling the truth? Right? You could check. Yes. Well, I can't have you checking if I'm not telling the truth. <laughs> That's it, man. But not, but it's not just, it's every religion. Every religion, there's one source of information. That connects them all. Huh? You said there's one source of information that connects them all. Yes. That's, but, that's, yeah. yeah that's but every religion believes that. You don't understand. Judaism says the same. There's only one God. Christianity, one God. Buddhism, yeah. Hinduism. There's only... Every, so, okay, you guys all agree it's one God. Well, let's let you guys look at it. It's about oh, time. It's time for judgment. It's time for the apocalypse. It's yes. time. I'm bringing yes. the apocalypse. I'm bringing you judgment. Let's let's let you figure out how to see it, so you can fact check some things. Okay, I get it. Yeah. What was the thing you said to uh, to 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 do research on? Tabernacle and a monstros. Tabernacle and monstros. Hold on, let me write it down somewhere. Anyways, thank you. Have a good day. Or thank evening. you so much. Thank you. Talk to you soon. I hope. We will. I remember you from last time. I hope in the background you've made some progress. God bless. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Or is really good today. Alfie, at, let me see. This one just popped up. They all do. What pyramids in specific? All of them. It's very fascinating. Every single, the, the, the basic foundation for the Torah, of the Bible, and the Quran is on pyramids in South America and the Middle East. Minus all this other stuff about, just minus all this extra stuff that you really go, well, I don't think God would say that. <laughs> I don't think that's military. Let me get right. Go live. Oh, there we go. When I uh, unable to join, we'll see. What about Greek mythology? In the Greek Greek mythology, you can Hi. see the Greek gods in the ball of a clown. Are you crying? Did I no, break your heart? No, I just have been scanning my ass off all day, so I. Uh, I broke her heart. She's, she's been I'm coming out of a dark room. Um, nice. The only thing I have to ask, I have two questions. I'm I'm sure people have asked you this one before, but is the earth flat? I keep hearing no. everybody's asking me that one lately. Oh my gosh. Because no. it was Columbus Day, so everybody's like saying that. No. Okay, thank and you. The map is flat. So I, you think about how, how funny this works out. If I show you a map of the world, it's flat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought this, is, this is what's interesting. People will tell you, I have a I have a picture from the Romans, and they drew a flat Earth. And they go, well, what does it say on that picture? It states when we when we make a, an aqueduct from here to here, there's some kind of curvature in the Earth that makes the water flow backwards. So just it literally it says just because the picture looks flat. Is and I think it's for the workers. Just because this picture looks flat, doesn't mean 
the earth is flat. Please don't forget <laughs> to take, literally, it says, please don't forget to take into account this curvature of the earth we live on because we need the water to make it to its destination, not flowing backwards. That's very fascinating. Right. <clears throat> so, like, I've had people give me a, they give me a picture. It's Roman. Look, flat earth. And I'm like, well, what does it say on there? And they go, and they go, please don't forget to take into account the curvature of the earth so water doesn't flow backwards. I'm like, oh, huh. The picture was flat, and it still is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, for some Hinduism, reason, same thing. People insist that it's flat today, even today. Yeah, 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 yeah. The dumbing down, free dumb. Free, I mean, you think about how fascinating that is. There's a flat earth web or Instagram, things like that. They have yeah. uh, millions of followers, and their picture states how they got their millions of followers. They picture from Hinduism, Viking, and all these different civilizations with a flat earth for a map. And literally in the picture, it states, if we're making a viaduct or whatever we're doing, don't forget to take into account the curvature that makes the water flow backwards. Like yeah. you, you grew your flat earth following using a picture that speaks about the curvature of the earth because you knew people were too stupid to actually read the Latin on the page or on, in the picture. Let me think, like, yeah, I reach out to these people. I'm like, you know, your picture you're showing talks about the earth being round. They go, yeah, people are too stupid to read it. And I make a lot of money advertising. And in real life, they go, I, I, Instagram pays me to put uh, commercials on my page. So it doesn't matter, Martin, that the picture I'm showing to gather all these flat earth believers yeah. say the earth isn't flat. What matters oh is God. they're showing up so I can make money every month. I get right. my check every month. Right. Right. Oh, brother. All right. In real life, like a, a lot of flat earthers who have all of these uneducated followers go, I know the earth's not flat. I can read Latin. I, I, I learned to read Aramaic. I learned to read, I know it's not, but these flat earth believers show up on my page every month. And every month I get a check from Instagram, Google, micro, I make money off of their ignorance. Yeah. I make, a, I make a living. I get it. And in real life, if I was to make a flat earth page, you can, as an experiment, you can make one. Gather the information from civilizations that say, literally, the earth is round. Put it on your page and millions of flat earthers will start to follow you and you'll get a check every month. It's God. like, I'm a, there's a sucker born every minute, right? <laughs> I mean, it's the crazy, like, well, you I've know, been, I've the, been that sucker, believe me, not on this topic, but for a lot until <laughs> me you too. set me straight. Do you have? Me that? too. I wish I knew something. Really? You know. had the wool pulled over your eyes? I mean, maybe. Well, not for that, but you know. Right. I know. For other people like OBGYN doctors. All right. But anyway, what about. I did. A, I did. A, I sent. A, I'm glad you brought that up. I did. I sent a post. Uh, to Lewis, he's been around since before things. And I asked, you know, he asked me some questions. I did a post that says, you know, as a, as a fan who may or may not have witnessed the sheriffs and some military men extort money from me so, and give to Courtney and my information, maybe as a witness, you might ask if they're going to give me my stuff back because we did allow officers and active duty soldiers to be murdered for this information to be taken and what what's the benefit of allowing the whole world to see airborne rangers create suicide bombers so they can profit illegally off of children and stuff like that right right it's disheartening but, but, but you know what's even worse we've incentivized there's an incentive in killing an american soldier today mm -hmm. think about this if you if you're willing to murder an American soldier, there's an organization that will give you money, a business, and power. If you, uh, yeah. anybody in the room, if you're willing to take the lives of an American soldier or a cop, reach out to the Wolfhounds. There's a unit of the Airborne Rangers that will pay you real cash, give you real resources to help squash the lives of officers and other active duty soldiers in real life while That's making fair. sure while making sure children witness it. Anyways, yeah, right. I'm a little, the more we, t more I talk about this stuff, the calmer I become. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so, okay, can we talk about the Bible for a second? Yeah. Because, um, you know, are, okay, first of all, I know that there's so many parables, we're not supposed to take it literally. There's a lot of messages. Now, would you say that there are like outright lies in the Bible? Like, okay. So that's kind of like disheartening. Jesus dying, Jesus being crucified for your sins is an outright lie. The reason today we have all this science stating uh, religion isn't real, because when you, when you read the, the historical documentation with an education of the witnesses of Jesus being crucified on your cross, they go, well, actually... It, Peter's not the guy's name, and it says he saw a body of light hang itself on a cross, and that light turned into your daily bread and your last supper. Very different. But we're not supposed to take how the Bible is written and and turn it into this into what you're talking about, like, or is it right in there saying? I, mean, I guess well, it well, depends on what version you're reading half the time. It, but. Well, the, now we're getting somewhere. There truly is a body of light that sacrificed itself on a cross. Right. So when we read that story, are we supposed to think like that now that we know? Or Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. There is a body of light that sacrifices itself on a cross for you, but not for your sins. It does it for your very existence. Okay. Now you think about this. If the body of light didn't sacrifice itself on a cross, would you have had the cotton for your clothes? No. Well, well, that's a lot more than you're just for your sins, isn't it? Right. Would you have food in your yard, in a garden to eat? No. Right. I get it. Yeah. Would you have meat? De those, that's very, it's a lot yeah. more. Now, but here's the thing, though. If you've been grown, raised in a psychology where you believe you're a sinner, I can prevent you from finding that body of light. I can convince, uh, it died for you. You don't even need to look for it and see it. You never need to question it to see if I'm telling you the truth. It's already been killed for you. Never. What's up, Ernie? Never to be seen again. But I mean, think of how fascinating this is. The Bible. What does the Bible tell you? You can see Jesus Christ today. In the bow of a cloud. Right, and in the bow of a cloud, the light of the world sacrifices itself to give you the Eucharist, the Holy Sacrament, the blood and body of Christ. That body of light and the bow of a cloud truly does turn into the Holy Sacrament, the blood and body of Christ. It's a body of light. That body of light did turn into the flesh and blood, wine and bread. It does. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's where you have science going, there's no such thing as, as, as a religion. Because we a lot of scientists just go, oh, it's the light. They don't know that there's a body in the center seven seals that looks like you. So we hide it from science and we hide it from religions simply so so few men at the top can continue to study it and gain knowledge that gives them power over you. Right. But, but I heard you say yesterday that, you know, Christianity comes close to um, conveying that, you know, yeah, they all do. They, they, learn, they all do. In Islam, I was just talking to somebody from Islam. Literally, in Islam, you learn the light of the world sacrifices itself on a cross to be your daily bread and your last supper. Right. Cure a leper, turn water. In, but but they're okay, so when you go back to, okay, like you don't want to throw the Bible out, you know, you yeah. want to kind of keep it near you because it's comforting. Yeah. And yeah. you take, so when you read the Bible, you know, do, or I guess it doesn't matter what you do, but I want to kind of wrestle with what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, do I, is it okay to take the Bible for say the 10 commandments even? I mean, the 10 commandments are kind of if like you you're saying that's be social. Moral. <laughs> Does it, is there a reason why there's 10 commandments to keep everybody in line? Is that a better? What well, now we're, what well, it's funny because there's hundreds of commandments. And they, they the Bible just, <laughs> Well, not the top, literally that council, a group of men got together and went, we like these 10. The other ones are too uh, strict and we won't have, literally, the other ones are too strict and we'd have no followers in Christianity if we use all the commandments. Judaism, same thing. The other ones are too strict. If we use all of the commandments, we will get nobody from anywhere. <laughs> like nobody will follow. It's very interesting. Like, 
you know, they, they talk about the armor of God. Like, like you, you want to find God before you can find God, you need to put on the armor of God. And people don't understand what that means in real life. If you want to, to find God on pyramids, right? You find the armor of God on a pyramid, the, the breastplates that have more mm -hmm. than 10 commandments, right? You find that information to go, Hey, wait a minute. The armor of God, there's information about God. When I find, when I source the location of the armor of God or the place that speaks about it, there's way more information, way more information than the books contain. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously but, you want the 10 commandments. I mean, I know but for a while there, I was getting like, so like, Oh my God, the 10 commandments, I have to follow the 10 commandments that I couldn't even kill a bug. Okay. To me, like, I'm just like, you know, thou shall not, but murder. Thing, they mean, they yeah, that, shall the not 10 kill commandments. Let's get somewhere. The 10 commandments, thou shall not kill, right? And you won't even kill a bug. But also in the Bible, Torah and the Quran, if you don't believe in our God, we are to kill you. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. What did your what did your see what I'm saying? A, a, a book written a book written to pull whatever is out of your psychology and have you be blind to everything else. It's very it's a very the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, very, very well written psychological. Uh, operation right when you read the Torah in the Bible the Quran you go you walked away with the Ten Commandments right you're like I, 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 right, I, I don't want to kill right that was part of your psychology the, the want to kill which is weird you're 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 a, I'm gonna talk about this psychology in Susan's psychology the need to want to kill somebody was in there in real life we studied you if we studied you in a psychology class they would say the Ten Commandments what stuck out to you and you go Thou shall not kill. And they would go, well, why did that, why was that part of your psychology, Susan? Who do you want to kill that the Bible prevented you from killing? And they get somebody else. And that somebody else, your, your husband. What is the, what do, you, what do you walk away from the Bible? Well, it says in here, I can kill anybody who doesn't believe in my God. Mm. That's interesting. Susan's didn't recognize the verses that her husband saw in the book. And her husband didn't recognize the verses she saw in yeah. the book. Yeah, yeah. They believe it contains two separate messages, and it does. It contains thousands of messages for thousands of different psychologies. Right. And then I go, okay, that's what you saw, right? Thou shall not kill. Susan wanted to kill somebody, whatever. She was mad at the time when she read it. Her husband read, we can kill anybody we want. And then I go, well, the thing is this, I'm with you guys. Well, what did you read in the Bible? Well, did you know my body, my mass is real light? That's real scientific facts. When my father's atoms from his serpent or sperm merged and took a bite out of my mother's egg, the forbidden fruit at the eve of my creation, it really did create a halo or a spark, or a spark of light that is real light. It is real light. Mm -hmm. What did your psycho... Now, I talk about that divine C code. In real life, is your body, your mass, is it real light? Mm hmm Hmm. Did the light of the world truly sacrifice itself on a cross to give you your daily bread and your last supper? Yep. Huh. Completely different perspective than you guys. You had one completely different than your husband. Your husband had one completely different than you. And I walked away going, hey, wait a minute. My body, my mass is real light. That's the most advanced information in physics. So, hey, wait a minute. When my, when my, Father's atoms, Adam and Eve, when they, those subatomic particles in an egg and a sperm merge, boom! You're basically saying hi to a G and a, and a boson, the yeah. Higgs, bo yeah. Higgs boson. They're like, yep, mm -hmm. that's facts, Martin. That's facts. When we slam those subatomic particles together, we're saying hi to G and a boson. Mm -hmm. so we're going to give you, Martin, some information from some particle accelerators, some metadata. We're going to give Martin some metadata, some information that most minds can't comprehend or even decipher. And we're going to see what you come up with. You know what I mean? Everybody's, when you're asking, do you take the Bible literally? If, if your psychology requires you to, so that you don't go out and kill somebody, absolutely. 
Right, you're you're well, not I mean, a police my officer. daughter was asking me, Mom, what are we supposed to believe out of the Bible? Are we supposed to believe? I'm like, yeah, I mean, there's you believe, here's things the thing. in there that really um, help, at least me, be, be a better person, like be Christ-like. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Yeah. You know, if, like, if you, you know, need... watch what comes out of my mouth, you know? Don't yeah, be, if... just be patient with people. Don't, you know, like there's a lot of that in there. Um, yeah. At least that's what I'm getting from it. Uh-huh. And you know that's helped me and also it's comforting if you're going through a hard time but you think about this a lot of beautiful now 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 we're going to get somewhere though so that body of life that sacrificed itself on a cross that was killed for your sins so you can't see it right that's your psychology right it was killed for your sin science going well it tells me i can see this jesus it wasn't actually crucified it's telling me at the same it told susan That body of light was crucified for her sins because her psychology believes something is wrong with her. A scientist reads it and goes, well, it says it was crucified. But it also says, I can see it in the bow of a cloud. And it also says, Jesus' glory is too bright for me to lay my naked eye upon. As a scientist, is there anything in Christianity they use to see this body of light? That hangs itself on a cross and his glory is too bright for you to lay your naked upon eye upon. They go, Yeah, it's called a monstros. Well, do they do that in Judaism? Yep, it's called a tabernacle. Yep. Every religion you think about this is a, the glory of God is too bright for you to lay your eyes upon, Susan. But there is a device that your book speaks about that your religion displays for you. But is your psychology mature enough to put your ego aside and go, well? If the Pope can use a monstrous to see Jesus have a virgin birth in front of his face, curing his blindness, why can't I? Right. Right. If Judaism can use a tabernacle to have Yahweh have a virgin birth in front of their eyes, curing their blindness, why can't you? And it's just, you know, the whole um, hope of the Bible was that, you know, Jesus was going to be resurrected and that was supposed to give us some hope but this now takes, we're... this takes like hope and you know to a different level like i i whenever i think of what you are saying that it says and you know even though i haven't seen through a monstrous i just feel so much um like you know i get the universe now and it's like so it's much you easier to live it's so right, much the easier messiah is coming yeah. back the Messiah. What Messiah? The Messiah that is supposed to give you the Creator? If I get you to understand how to use a monstrous, a tabernacle, sun disc that religions use to create their religions, I have given you the Creator that they studied, that they worshipped, that they used to create their books. Yeah. I mean, literally, the... Jesus is in the bow of a cloud, and a I mean, messenger. Before I used to just think, or before I used to just think, oh, I hope I, you know, make it to heaven. You know, I hope I, I hope I, you know, pass judgment day and all this stuff, and I hope I. Um, well, here, here's the interesting part: when judgment, what is what does Christianity say about judgment? It's not meant for you. Judgment is meant for for reverence, pastors, and preachers, the teachers of of. Christianity. Well, it's interesting. In in Islam, Judgment Day. What does it actually state in the for you know when we built wrote the Quran for? Ju- it's not for the Muslims. It's for the leaders of Islam. Well, that's interesting. How about Judaism? Judgment Day. Oh, it's not for the Hebrews. It's for the leaders of Judaism. What, judgment Day is for the men who didn't allow their flock to see the Creator. Are, are you not passing judgment? Now are you going, well, why didn't my religious teacher teach me that? Are they not being judged now? Yeah, right. Then and that, That's what they taught. Judgment yeah. Day. Judgment Day isn't for Susan. Judgment Day is for Martin. When he learns about the creator, just like every other pastor, preacher in every religion, is he going to hide it for money and power? Or is he going to give it to the world? When Bob down the street gets his 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 degree in theology to be, uh, uh, you know, work at a at a synagogue for Judaism, is he going to tell people the truth, or is he going to hide it for money and power? Judgment isn't for the flock; 
If you study Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, it states in the beginning, judgment is for the leaders that are teaching you about religion. Now, why would a leader who teaches religion... Wow. I missed that. Try to, yeah, right. Now we're against it. Judgment isn't for the flock. It's for the leaders. Why would, why would the, the men who wrote the Bible, the Torah and the Quran, go, if you take this, this information that is made as stories and try to make it facts, eventually there'll be a judgment for you. Eventually, humanity is going to figure out the seven seals of revelation and the bow of a cloud, the Ark of the Covenant. A rainbow has seven seals. It arcs and it's called the covenant. Eventually, some children are going to put some two and two together. Mm -hmm. The glory of God is too bright for you to lay your naked eye upon. Eventually, somebody's going to go, hey, why is the Pope using a device to see something I can't lay my naked eye upon? Why is Judaism using a device to see something I can't lay my naked eye upon? Judgment. Wow. Does that make sense? Yes. It's not for you. It's not for the... Now, the, the apocalypse, we went from a lifting of the veil, a revelation of knowledge that will lead you to the truth in the information you were given that is not the truth, to the end of the world. Well, yeah. The end of whose world? The religious leaders who are lying? When you find the creator... Uh, are you is it the end of your world are you going to lose a bunch of money are you going to are you going to no the the religious leaders who are lying so they could have a learjet so they could have a mansion so kids could i mean you think about it in order for a christian to have a learjet he had to leave some of his followers children starving dying in the street in order for a christian pastor to have a mansion Somebody had to, had to go without. His flock. These are facts. In order for a, a religious leader, the Vatican, to have golden plates, somebody had to die on the street. Right? We had to do the op. In order for you to have a, a, a mansion, a jet, mounds of gold, and million-dollar bank accounts in religion, you had to turn your I back on I like Joel Osteen. Now I guess. <laughs> what, now we're gonna get, in order for Joel Osteen... To have the things he has, he had to forsake the children in his congregation. Not all of them, not the ones that are on camera. Right? In order for Joel Olstein to have his mansions, some people had to die of some, of some diseases and illnesses that he was given money to give them to heal. Joel Olstein is given money to, cure, to help pay for Susan's, Susanna's cancer treatment. But he decided to buy a Learjet instead. He let people die. Slow, painful wow. death. I mean, in, in real life, am I making that up? No. There's people in Joel Olstein's church today dying of diseases and illnesses simply because he likes jets and mansions. Mm -hmm. He turned his back on his own followers. Now, was it just Joel Olstein that did that? How many pastors have made the Learjet? Yeah. Who think about it? In order for you to have this massive amount of wealth from any religion, you have to stab your God in the back and let your flock die. You Find me a church where nobody's sick. Nobody needs financial support. Nobody needs a medication. Nobody needs a car. Nobody needs their power bill paid. Nobody needs their water paid. Nobody needs toilet paid. Find me right, one where, there's, right. where everybody's 100% taken care of so that the extra money left over can be given to the pastor. It doesn't work that way. Right? Joel Osteen looked out and went, Fuck them all. I want a jet. In real life. And he says, these people are so stupid, I can give them the finger and tell them to fuck off to their face. And the rest of the flock will watch these people die in misery while giving me money. They're so stupid. This is Joel Olsen. Thank you, God, for giving me these dumb people. <laughs> these people that are so stupid, they will let the rest of their congregation die a painful, slow death so that I can have a jet. Am I making that up? In real life, when you look at these congregations, is there sickly people not getting the medication and the supplies and services they need? What about all these people that are trying to heal? Like they start praying over? It, it makes money. God. Literally. I've had congregations. We will, we will move you to our town. We'll move you to our state. We got a lot of people that give us a lot of money, Martin. You just put your hands on them. We'll give you, we'll give you something to say. You put yeah. your hands on them. We get a lot of them. Like, what? And they're like, yeah, people will give us 
five thousand bucks a pop. All you gotta do is put your hands on their shoulder. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I'm all right. Nice. I mean, you think about it, in real life. Uh, you, you, you know, you're t- and not to not to be mean about Joel Osteen or not, but in real life, is there people in his congregation that have to go without so that he can have that jet? He can ha- be a, a overindulge, not just not now. He's he's not just living comfortably. Right. He's overindulged. But he's just he's rationalizing greedy. it, saying that he's helping so many people. Helping. No, he's stolen from so many. Joel Olstein has stolen enough money from enough needy people to give himself a jet. He's left enough people in the street dying to purchase a mansion. He's enough. He's right. He's stabbed enough people in, in his congregation in the back to have what he has. Now, if you go and you go, every con, every member of Joel Olstein's church goes. All of my medical is paid for. All of my power bills are paid for. My kids' tuition for college. Everything. Right? There's not a needy person in his flock. And there was leftover money for his jet, but then by all means. Right. Or he could have just gave it to some to some uh, missionary work like he's supposed to. There's ne- there, When does a church ever have the money to purchase a jet? Never. If they're actually doing God's work, they never have a money for a jet. Right, because when right. I'm done taking care of my congregation, I got to take care of my community. When I'm yeah. done taking care of my community, I got to take care of the neighboring town. When I'm done taking care of the neighboring town, I got the neighboring state. When I'm done with the neighboring state, I got the neighboring nation. There's always somebody, but not in Joel Olstein's eyes. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, no, Martin. Now, yeah, Big there, Carm and yeah, there is a there, that body of light that sacrificed itself. Yeah, did a lot for a lot more than just your sins. I mean, think about it. you wouldn't even have hair. <laughs> you have makeup on right now. I mean, yeah. think about how crazy that is. Just so you could have makeup, that's a lot more than just sins, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Huh, your kid going to college. There's a lot of resources involved going to college, isn't there? Right. Boy, that sacrifice covered a lot more than sins. That cr- on that cross, that crossover from energy into matter. A lot more than just a sin. Yeah, that's neat. Huh? That is so cool. Thank you. Think about it. I do. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, Martin. Let somebody else on. I'll try to clap with more questions. Bye. (laughs) Oblivion NPC. I got, I'm waiting. I don't know why it's not showing me. I'm, I just put on for somebody who asked the question about neurogenesis or something. We'll see if it puts them on. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to talk to you while I take the link. How you doing, sir? Hi. I'm good. Thank you. And um, sorry about my language. I'm Italian. No, that's all right. So I was meaning to ask you some question about, um, um, about specific, um, information that you, that you gave, uh, on your Instagram about um, IQ and ketosis, okay? Okay. Uh, basically, you said that um, IQ um, mm-hmm. could um, could increase in uh, yeah. w- with ketosis. I mean, I had uh, I did a, a bit of the research about that, and scientific evidence um, doesn't doesn't show. Yeah, um, that's not true. Of, that's a lot, a lot of evidence isn't shown about that. So, um, can you can you please um, yeah so, show some information about that? Yeah, uh, every military and intelligence agency, independently from every country, yeah. do you have to do a lot of exercises when you join boot camp? Yeah, right. They put you in a ketogenic state. And why do they put you in that ketogenic state to raise your intelligence? Right. If you study the army, why do you do boot camp? They say we need to raise the intelligence of the recruits. Well, that's interesting. How about the Marines? Why is there a boot camp in the Marines? They tell you, 
We need to raise the intelligence of the new recruits. Well, how, how, how about the Coast Guard? Well, we need to raise the intelligence of the new recruits. Well, let's not worry about the United States. How about Canada? Well, yeah, they have to do the same thing because we need to raise their intelligence. Huh. Okay. How about Mexico? I mean, think about this, Mexico. Well, yeah, we, gotta, we have to have them go into ketosis so we can raise their intelligence. Okay. Um, Every country. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, my, my question uh, really was about um, why, why can't I get anything um, from scientific studies and shit like that um, about this? I mean, why, why do they not um, say? Um, well, what happens if you, if you just started doing that at home to become smart? I would become smarter. Yeah, you're the comp you become the competition. Yeah, get it. And how um, how exactly do governments um, have this type of uh, power over um, over universities and um, research institutions? Well, who pays for the who pay, now we're getting who pays for the scientific journal mm. created by? A, a scientific institution or a college who actually pays for it mm. who sanctions who 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 sanctions the college or a scientific institution so they can do these experiments a government organization yeah mostly yeah well, not, not mostly in real life can i just do a a a study using cannabis on you or a scientific study doing Uh, think you know neuroscience on you without some kind of government regulations? Mm. No, no. But no. so are you saying that uh, any country? So are you saying like, um, for example, Swedish professors and Swedish um, researchers um, uh, are not allowed? All researchers in, in the world are, um, are not allowed to research on um, some specific, uh, specific subjects. No, they are. There, there are subjects they're not allowed to research. The subjects they are allowed to research have to be approved by their government. Yes or no? Okay. Yeah. Right. So, if, right, I, I want to research stem cells from a baby. Mm -hmm. I have to in Washington State. I have to get federal and state approval. Right. There's mm -hmm. state and federal oversight. Mm -hmm. In order to get their approval, I have to literally agree what to share and what not to share. Okay. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. And so you think about it. In order for me to do a study, I have to get government approval. How do I get mm -hmm. that government approval? I agree to not share what they tell me not to share. Mm, okay. So um, that's it. Black and white. And do, why do you think... Um, At least some of them um, don't raise awareness about this. There, what is there? What, I, I, there's no needed. awareness needed. You're not understood. If you want to do a study, you have to get government approval. Yeah. Everybody is there is awareness. You just don't have an education to understand what's going on. Does that make sense? Yeah. If, I mean, I, I mean, why researchers that um, um, that. Uh, are not allowed to to to, um, to do some kind of uh, publication because of um, government restrictions. Why? Well, why they do don't they... get to. They don't get to do the study. Yeah, and why? Why do they not? Um, Now, listen, I just told and... you. Listen, this one tell yeah. you. I'm the government. You want to do a study, right? If yeah. you if you don't follow the rules, you can't do the study. What are your mm -hmm. choice? Do you want to do the study or not do the study? Follow the rules, you can do it. Don't follow the rules, you can't do it. What's your choice? I, I don't do the study, but at least okay, I... Okay, that's I, your... Okay, there you go. Maybe you I, don't do the study. Maybe I contact some journalist about, uh, about it. I mean... Are you... you are you, it, 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 you... A journalist for what? You're not making I mean, any sense. Maybe... I you don't make awareness any sense. about that. I oh, raise... It's all... Everybody already knows. Do you... Mm -hmm. Awareness. You act... You're the only one that doesn't know this. Right? That, you know what I'm saying? You don't do scientific studies. You don't work for a college or a school. Mm -hmm. Awareness, everybody knows. You call a journalist and go, oh, my God, the government won't let me share some information if I do a scientific study. The journalist goes, well, yeah, it's fucking like that in the whole world, you idiot. Bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. And... I'm not trying to be rude, but literally, if you called the, the news right now and said, hey, man, 
the government is not going to let me do this study if I, sh if I share information they don't want me to share. They're going to go, well, how the fuck is that newsworthy? It, that's, they do that in North Korea, for crying out loud. Russia, United Kingdom, it, that's common practice. That's how it works. <laughs> they're not, they're going to, they won't ever take you serious. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I had an, uh, another question. Um, in, in your manner in, um, in ex explaining information is, um, is cryptic. Is that a, uh, the word? Um, I'm sorry, say it again? Your, um, your way of, um, of saying information and is um, cryptic. Um, is that uh, the, the exact word? I mean... Um, no, this is funny. It's not cryptic. Mm. You've been led to, to see it cryptic. We've, we've uneducated you so that you don't understand what's going on around you. Is it cryptic? No, it's not. It's how the rest of the world works. Okay. Um, so how would you suggest me to, um, to research on, um, on this stuff uh, in, in a scientific way? In, um, Go to school. school. Get a degree. School and degrees wouldn't, um, wouldn't tell me to, um, to, to go into, into ketosis in order to, um, to raise my intelligence, though. Well, are you sure the scientific study wouldn't tell you that and you just weren't allowed to tell anybody else? Now we're getting somewhere. You do a scientific study and you go, oh, man, this ketogenic state raises IQ. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that because I participated in a study. I can't repeat it to anybody else, but I know it's facts now. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Participate in a study. You'll know it's facts. Does that make and sense? You'll, even if you can't share it, you still learn it. Okay. So, and for example, in, in, in your case, how, how do you... Um, um, you get all this uh, information. Uh, do you go to to college or something? Do you? I get free education. In, in what sense? Free, in the sense of free, I get free education. Um, in the sense that did you study by yourself? That um... everything. Well, I get free education. It's free. There's, there's places out there that if you work for them and do things, they get you get free education for life. Yeah, this was uh, one of the things I was referring about. Um, if, I, if, I, if I asked you, what, what are these uh, organizations? Um, what are you talking about? Would you, would you answer me? Why is it any of your business? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> But here's the thing. Today, is there places you could join to get free school? Yeah. yeah. Right? And whatever you do to get your free school is none of my business, is it? No, I, I was just curious. No, I understand. But I'm, you see what I'm saying, though? There's places you could, right, right now, mm -hmm. there's places that will give you free school. You've just chose not to utilize them. You know, it's, every place I've ever worked offered free college, whether it be the government, the military, or a private company, they all offer free school. Everywhere, maybe you know, you're, for, you're for crying out loud, you think it's, just, it's like a uh, for a dollar a month, you can go to college. Walmart will pay for you to go to college. It's like a or mm -hmm. I thought, is it a, a dollar a day? I'm sorry, for a dollar a day. Mm -hmm. Walmart, yeah, you know, uh, the military will pay for you to go to school. Uh, government agencies will pay for you to go to school. Schools will pay for you to go to school. Mm. Literally, free education is out there for everyone. I mean, you know, there's some level of free education. Okay. Homeschool, okay. private tutors. I've been private tutored by some of the greatest minds to be alive in, in my lifetime, in your lifetime. Okay. But you, um, you, you know, uh, I don't, I just, I'm, I'm sitting back right now and just like, Gauging what people do and do not know. Mm -hmm. Metadata. Mm, have you have you ever thought about um, teaching all this stuff in a, in a more um, methodological way, in a more scientific way? Maybe in um, if you were to, for example, uh, public study, um, 
not studies, but more scientific kind of um, uh, information, uh, and not just maybe uh, give give hints like you. Uh, would that be? Um, would, would that make sense? Maybe to you, but not any of the rest of my followers. I do teach stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, and you, 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 the information you're taught is is exactly what you need to be taught at your given point in following me. Mm. Right, if, if you if you um, don't have the intelligence to make it any further with information, that's not my choice. That's your choice. Right, if you choose not mm -hmm. to research. It, 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 and and make any progress that's your choice yeah yeah you of make course. that choice of course and i, I was saying this because um i i feel like um a lot of people that that follow, uh, that follow you um, don't take you that seriously because um they they can they kind of had they, they do not take your your information seriously in a scientific way maybe um well, I, you, you don't understand you have to take scientific information and dumb it down for the layman now when you take information and dumb it down for the layman to understand sometimes they're still too stupid to understand it that's not okay. my problem yeah. that makes sense yeah i, I got you and yeah. that, that comes from school they teach you we're going to take some information and we're going to dumb it down as much as possible for you to understand it and mm -hmm. when they say you there's a class of 50 people 75 people we're going to take this physics and we're going to dumb it down as much as possible Mm -hmm. so that you guys can understand it if when we dumb it down you don't take the information serious because you don't understand it you shouldn't be in this class mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay right? if you can't understand the science when we've dumbed it down you don't have any reason even being in the class because yeah, yeah, if you can't course. understand it being dumbed down how are you going to understand it in its advanced form yeah yeah i got you okay Thank you, Martin. I, I will I will try to to research. Okay. You have a great day. God bless. Bye. Thank you. What is Noah talking about? I don't know what Noah's talking about. Let's see. Kills creative thinking. <laughs> what kill I don't know what you're saying. You didn't miss much. <laughs> Big chungas. You, 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 let's think about this. Uh, uh, Walter Lewin. He'd take a bowling ball and s literally dumb down some very advanced physics and, and uh, uh, information on gravity and. and uh, uh, things like that, and dumb it down into a bowling ball swing for people to get it. And if you didn't understand what he was saying when, when he swung that bowling ball or played with a tire, when he dumbed it down to play with a bicycle wheel, if you didn't understand it, he, right, it was an uncommon creed that you don't belong in the class. You need to go back to the beginning, start over, and get there. What is this? You're gone. Hide. Ain't that? <laughs> Pendulum. The meaning of life do for other people. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good question. Go live. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with this stupid thing. <laughs> I'm the worst gamer in the world. How do I, here, I'll see, what do you want? Go live. Bam, 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 bam. <gasps> nice. Griffin Watch Faction.
not working? Ah. Hey, how goes it? Pretty good. How you doing, sir? Uh, I'm just hanging out today. What are you doing? Answering questions on my, my TikTok like usual. Yeah, you voting my... this year? I've registered. Yeah, you haven't voted yet. Well, is the election here yet? No, I mean, you could... Voting started like a couple of days ago or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm registered. Hell yeah. All right, take it easy, bro. <laughs> you have a great day. Hey, you know what? You guys, vote for Martin King of the North. Vote for Martin, King of the North. Hey, Martin. How you doing? So, I'm curious. I'm trying to enter ketosis recently, but I've been unsuccessful. Um, any tips on getting there? How do you get into ketosis? First of all, yeah. let me ask you, do you know how? Um, not really, no. Well, instead of me telling you, and then you forgetting, you should study how someone goes into ketosis. Ah, uh, true. Does that make sense? Because when you read something, right, uh, and you repeat something in your mind, it sticks. Yeah, true. You, like, retain the knowledge. There we go. So so, I'd rather you retain some information than to believe something I said blindly. All right. Wait, are you in ketosis right now? Yes, I am. Wow. It's very annoying. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. Oh, man. Well, but yeah, thank you. simply, simply, simply cutting the amount of sugar you eat every day, uh, yeah, depending sugar. on how much you eat and your exercises, you know, but without you studying, you'll never know for yourself. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go research that. Anything else, sir? Oh, uh, no, that'll be all. Thank you. You have a great day. This one person, hopefully they come on, they asked about chakras and kundalini. Hello? Hello, Martin. How are um, you doing? I'm doing great today. And yourself? Pretty good. That's good. Um, what, what are your, what are your, um, your op- opinions on, like, chakras and the kundalini? And- so, I'm g- let, let's not worry about my opinions. Let's, let's worry about what it actually states. Okay. <laughs> right? When you're reading the information, the original information about chakras, it says... There's some kind of system inside of you that sends electricity to move your body. Yeah, in order to like, like send yeah, energy. Now, through it. but it's not you uh, using your mind to do it. It literally states today we know when you do an autopsy where the original information for chakra points, your throat chakra. For, yeah, for, your throat, your heart, um, hold on so we're gonna we'll just cover one but we're throat chakra when i look at my central nervous system for my throat chakra mm-hmm. there's a central nervous system connection where my central nervous system sends my information to control my throat now it states i have one here here all the places my heart chakra if i want to align my chakras i need to stop eating sugar Mm-hmm. And and meditate uh, the idea of eating and hunger out of my brain. I need to not eat yeah, for a period good. of time, and my body will repair my throat chakra. So you just wh- why would in literally you why would I need my body to repair my throat chakra? And you'd learn well back in the day, people used to chant. <laughs> they lose their voice. Yeah, right, you lose your voice, and they'd say. You, right, I'd be talking to you like, oh, you can't speak? I need you to align your throat chakra. What I need you to do is stop eating all sugar, remove all ideas of hunger and eating out of your brain, and your body will heal your throat faster. 
so that you can speak again. Oh, you've hurt your, I hurt my arm. So you, I hurt my arm. Hold on. So I hurt my arm. Right? I'm read the shockers. It states, if I stop eating sugar and meditate all ideas of hunger and eating out of my brain, my body will repair the nerve damage to my arm. So you believe ketosis or like you ketosis and meditation go hand in hand? Is well, it's not. Yes, but not the meditation most people believe in. Today, there's all kinds of lies about medit. You have to remove all thoughts out of your brain. Da -da. No, it doesn't say that. It, it, original. If you read the original information humanity has for chakras today, it states: stop thinking about eating and hunger. That's it. It doesn't cover anything else. It just says stop thinking about about eating and being hungry. Well, what does that put you in? Right, so the chakras, ketosis, right? Yeah, it puts you into ketosis. Okay. Right, so chakras, literally, if I stop eating, and stop thinking about eating, and I stop trying to focus on being hungry, I'm going to go into ketosis, and I will and align my will throat chakra. I, my body will heal the nerve damage that stopped me from speaking. Yeah. Huh. Well, now kundalini, a snake in your stomach, right? Yeah. Now, when I look at the original information about the kundalini, they actually have a picture of somebody on a table cut open and they're holding somebody's reached in and pulled out some intestines and it says this intestine is a snake well we now know today it's not really a snake it's your intestine yeah. now in the kundalini it states if you want to awaken this snake that's inside of you you have to meditate all ideas of eating and hunger yeah. out of your mind and when you stop eating this snake will release a venom that cleans your brain and strengthens your memory. Yeah, and, yeah, okay. and then, so, if you stop eating, does your body, in fact, make something that cleans your brain and strength? Yes, ketones. Yeah. The venom is ketones. The snake is your stomach. But there's a lot of people who don't want you to know that because if you do it correctly, you become too smart to pay them money. The, the big pharma and... Yeah, well, fake spiritual gurus. Oh. So that's the, the, the thing about chakras and kundalini isn't from big pharma and Western medicine. That comes from fake spiritual gurus. A fake spiritual guru will lie to you about the snake being something else so that you and you being able to, huh? So that you can pay for their products. There you go. You, right? I, if I was a fake spiritual guru, I know a lot about the kundalini and chakras. People will pay me $100 a month to come to my house and teach them how to meditate. Oh, oh look, I can make a hundred dollars a month from thousands of people. But in order for me to make a hundred dollars a month from thousands of people, I have to lie. You have to mislead them. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to not tell them, well, actually the snake is your stomach. I, I'm not going to tell you that, but so, you know, I'm not charging you a hundred dollars a month. I'm just telling you the truth. Look, the Kundalini, that snake is your intestine and it does release a venom. It's called ketones that clean out and grow your brain. I just gave you the truth without charging you any money. Hold up, I'm gonna write down some notes. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, do you have any um opinions on three six nine and Nikola Tesla or Nikola Tesla? Well, you, you know, so, in the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, if you understand three six nine, you will find the ultimate friend of mine. The ultimate. What, what three books did you just say? The, the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran. I have PDFs on the Torah. I'm currently reading the Bible, though. Um, well, I have to go, like, clean and stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, thank you for... Helping on the live with me, Martin. Um, have a nice day. God bless. God bless. Hold on one sec. Let's just bring Brian. Let's see, go live here. Let's see. Somebody said uh, 369. If you understand the
Magnificence of 369. You'll find the ultimate friend of mine. Oh, hello, Martin. Hello. Hey, dude. You okay? Good. What were, you were talking about fasting? What were you saying? Yeah, I tried ketosis personally. No, I'm not as smart as you. Obviously, mm -hmm. I'm not as enlightened because you seem like a very enlightened man personally to me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I tried ketosis, like, as, as you were talking about the Kundalini snake releasing mm -hmm. the venom into the brain. Yeah. Look, I'm new to this stuff, but it really does seem interesting because you clearly do know your stuff. I tried it for a little bit a few months ago. It was, um, it was weird because, as you said, it cleans out your brain and it brings the um, enlightenment process forward, yeah. like sort of yeah. as I would describe it. I find that bad because me personally, you know, I have this dark sense of mind. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, if, you, if you practice fasting while you are exercising and thinking positively, you could rewire your brain to no longer focus on the dark side. Sorry, um, yeah. I exercised for about five months over this whole lockdown thing. Um, just like without the fasting, like, because I tried ketosis a few months ago. Um, I tried it and personally, I think working out plus the ketosis could work very, very well because I did try working out, which cleaned out my mind. It was like a whole cleansing process, so. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose so. It's, um, yeah, as I said, it talks about it in the ancient culture. It's been, it's been throughout time, this, like, this process. Yeah, it's in everything. It's in everything. Yeah. Oh, I lost him. Yeah. Even yeah, it's so. It's in everything. It's in everything. Yeah. Sorry, I just zoomed out for a second. I was thinking about something. But uh, yeah, that's all I really had to last. Like, it's a bit short, but still. No problem. You have a great day. God bless. Oh, I have Thank one you more. for your kindness. Yeah, it's no problem. I just have one more question. Do you like Minecraft at all? Any idea about Minecraft? Do you like Minecraft? I do. I do. Simply because uh, it, it, Minecraft. Craft a mind. What mind? All of the information you, you create on Minecraft is feeding Cortana? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. of the information that the whole world creates, right, their imagination, we're teaching Cortana how to utilize the imagination. I mean, literally, it's a, it's a neural network. It's a data set for AI, is it not? Yeah. Why else would you spend, why else would you spend billions of dollars on a video game that, that literally just has people using their imagination. Yeah. It's, it's like it's, a pathway. It's, it's, a, it's like yeah, a control pathway, pathway to go. like enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> Microsoft data policy coming up. Minecraft. Craft what mind? Yeah. Cortana's. Yeah. Well, that's there's some, only, there's some that's underlying it. abilities for artificial intelligence and things that people really don't grasp. But yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I had another thing. The retainment of information. I'm currently in school. I live in another country, as you can tell. It's in the UK. Um, I don't know much about the US education system, but as you said, retainment of information, as you said, they dumbed down the concept of certain subjects for people to understand. I think that grossly nullifies what you learn and hence just restricts your mind in an invisible iron or glass cage that you can't break because you were taught you can't break it because they taught you. You don't know how you use your mind. They don't tell you how to use your mind. Yeah, just r imagination. Never grow up. Yeah. Never grow up. Yeah. Sorry, it's lagging a bit, Martin. No problem. You have a great day. It is cutting out. My stomach is so upset today.
Seven seals of a rainbow reveals a body of light that Israelite when all seven seals unite. In the covenant that arcs, the Ark of the Covenant. The antiacid, go live. I don't know if it's going to let you on, but we'll give it a shot. Can you uh, hear me? Yeah. How you been? Um, I've been pretty good. How are you? How have you been? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Getting better. That's good. Um, so I just wanted to talk about uh, the last 33%. <laughs> um, so I know that the first 33% is that there is a son of God that truly does sacrifice itself on a cross over from energy and a matter of VR, daily bread and last supper. Uh, second 33% to make up our next one is the antimatter ghost particle that literally is the reason why our universe and our observable universe exists. Um, you said I was 1%. And the next 33% um, I've, I'm pretty much just boggled about it, but I, my uh, hypothesis is that maybe it's uh, the human mind. We know that there's 33 senses, and maybe with that 100%, that could make up our observable reality. Well, there's more than 33 senses. There is? Are you sure? I'm positive. You, there's, so you, you are a neurotypical, so you have 33 senses, correct? Oh, I mean, maybe, yeah. Are you saying because some people have autism, so they'll have more senses? Or, and there's some people who have less. Oh, synesthesia, you mean? That too? Yeah there's, yeah, there's people that have more than 33, and there's people that have less than 33. Less than 33, yeah. But to get to the last 33, you'd, have, you'd need more than 33 senses. I guess so, uh, but what? What is the one hundred percent equal? Is that our? Is it like a simulation? Is that my reality? Because how am I one percent in the equation? Uh, you, Wouldn't everyone else be one percent as well? Well, yeah, but they they exist in the rest. They exist in one of those other buckets. Um, do they not? I guess they do. I have a uh, group chat. Uh, where we talk about, we uh, compare, you know, our, our knowledge and we try to further our, just what we are currently studying and reading. And if anyone wants to join, they could just message me about it. But, uh, I mean, I don't know where to look. I've looked up 33 in the Bible. And uh, at, at this point, you should probably just work on your education. Yeah, I know, because, because I know the answer, the, but I can't on. fathom why. You're not listening. Listen, listen. How do you know you have the education to recognize the answer when it hits you in the face? Well, the thing is, is that I don't. I don't have the education or the knowledge because go. I don't, but I don't know particle more. science. But you have a lot more than everybody else your age, correct? Yes. And you have See. the ability to educate yourself and everything else, correct? Yes, I have been doing research about particle physics and um, yeah you have the ability tunneling jeez i'm so sorry this keeps falling yeah, that's right i'm about to lose signals losing you have the ability to get the rest mm -hmm. hold, hold on one sec someone wants to join that group chat just let me know uh I do. I mean, where would I, Some, I, I don't know where to study, where would I study the just top of science knowledge? I, here's the thing, I can't. You have to walk your own path. I'm not looking for a blind follower. I know. You and have, you have, make sense? That's what I respect about you so much. You, you really, you 
can use, you can use this wordplay and all these clues, and I've gotten this far, but I just I just need to figure out what you does will. the one hundred percent equal, and what's the last thirty three percent. I'm trying to share my collective knowledge, even gotten this far. So well, there we. This is now you're interested. See, this is where what, what the problem is when you get started gathering stuff. There's freaking nobody. So right now, right, uh, if you, uh, I got, I got literally about 80 million children like you around the world studying and researching things. So eventually I'll have some other perspectives, but now I got to wait for that, the fruits of my labor <laughs> to, to, to get out of school. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I have been, um, well, Oh, I lost you, son of a gun. I lost him. Very smart kid. It's a very good question. Come on, go. I love. I wanted to talk to you about um, the philosophies of Carl Jung and Friedrich Nietzsche and the idea of a silent archetype. Okay. So, um, you know, things like Jesus is an archetype, the archetype of martyrdom, and um, like Zeus is the archetype of power, right? So I wanted to understand what your opinion of that idea was. But it's, it's, it's not – that's a – a popular psychological social structure, Carl Jung and Nietzsche and them just dump themselves in, but it's, it's, it's a social structure, meaning it doesn't exist if we don't force it upon somebody. You think how fascinating, how, how smart Carl Jung was and, and, and things like that, not even recognizing that his opinions were created because he couldn't escape from that social structure? That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> that's so fascinating about, the, you know, I, I love that archetype stuff. But where does it come from? You being forced into a social structure. So if I didn't force you into that social structure, say you're from South America or the <laughs> Netherlands, you didn't know anything about Zeus, right? Right. And I showed you Zeus. I gave you the reality behind Zeus. You walk away, and they've done this in psychology. They go, Zeus is the god of lightning. Not power, but lightning, just destruction. Or is the god of fish or the god of rain. People come with all kinds of weird stuff. It has nothing to do with those 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 archetypes that that Carl Jung used for his perspective. Like, in order to, in order to understand those things, you have to put yourself out of the social structure, which I, I, Carl Jung, very smart person, but was incapable of removing himself from the social structures. But there's still the the idea of every culture seeming to have different like archetypes that can apply to everything, apply to every person. Well, but, uh, like, but hold on. If you were born in a social structure where those don't exist, would you have those? They have them because we gave them to everybody. Right? Every right. culture and has I, them because of the, people went, 99% of the population has herd mentality. We can give but these isn't archetypes. the Bible mostly just full of archetypes? Yeah. Full of characters that are socially created by god within that sense there you go yeah yeah now they weren't socially created they actually exist and you think about carl Jung. imagine where he would have been if he had synesthesia and went hey wait a minute these archetypes that i think are social constructs and have no semblance in reality actually exist right today in physics 
there's a body of light with a head, a torso, two arms, and two legs that sacrifices itself on a cross to give you your daily bread and your last supper. Exactly what Jesus does. It's a real thing. But Carl Jung didn't have the education or the intelligence to grasp that. And I think that's fascinating. Carl Jung, one of the most advanced minds that we have in the scientific world today, right? Right. right. One of the greatest minds we've had. And he still did not possess the intelligence to go. Christianity uses a monstrous to, to see a body of light have a virgin birth in front of their eyes and cure their blindness. And then this body of light hangs on a cross. Well, it turns water into wine, cures a leper. Like he didn't have the intelligence to grasp the basic science that was being given to him. He threw himself in the social structure like everybody else because of his lack of education. And that's very profound. So you... Think about this. Because of Carl Jung's lack of intelligence and lack of education, he lumped himself in with everybody else. Now, how much education and intelligence did he lack compared to the rest of the world? None. Right? Right. This is very, very eye-opening. One of the greatest minds in the world lacked the intelligence or the education to understand the basic science in the Bible. Well, that's profound. The world looks up to Carl Jung's intelligence, and you're looking up to an intelligent man who did not have the ability to grasp basic science. So why are you looking up to Carl Jung? Because he was really as smart as we say he was, or is another archetype created for you? He's the new Zeus. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you for answering my question. No I was very problem. curious to see what your opinion was. I hope it. I hope it did, did really make sense. But right, Carl Jung, the new the new Zeus in science, he put himself in the arch right in that because he didn't have the intelligence or the education to understand basic science, and that's crazy. Think about how crazy that statement is. Did Carl Jung actually have the intelligence to understand the light of the world truly does turn into our daily bread and our last supper? No, he didn't. Did Carl Jung? Right have the basic intelligence in basic science to understand, yeah, a body of light does turn water into wine. A body of light cures leprosy. It does those things. He went, nope, this shit doesn't happen. It's something social construct made up by humanity. And why did Carl Jung, the man that you guys say is so smart, think it was a social construct? Because he wasn't as smart as we led you to believe. We just made him an archetype. We made him the new Zeus. What if, but before his time, he was intelligent. I think there's that much more point. But even during his time, he wasn't that intelligent because literally we had other physicists, other scientists going, wait a minute, the light of the world does these things. But he was the celebrity archetype given to you. How do you know about Carl Jung? Because you went to school or he was a celebrity archetype we gave you. Yeah, that is because he did. It's because he was taught to me. Right? He was, huh, we created a celebrity archetype for you. You don't know about Carl Jung because of his groundbreaking understanding in actual science. You yeah. know him because we said, you believe in this guy. You gauge your, <laughs> if, we, if we stacked him in a room with other people who did basic understanding of science, Carl Jung doesn't even uh, doesn't yeah. even make it into the room. And th I'm not so are you saying we should attempt to forge our own path instead of focusing on the past? There we go. Forge your own path. And you think about how interesting. Why forge your own path? Well, you look at another archetype, right? Albert Einstein, right? He's right. another Zeus in science. Yeah. Everybody believes he's God's gift to the world when it comes to science. But yet all of his information has been disproven already. So why do you believe he was one of the smartest men alive when none of his information actually stacks up in science? It, it, we have to have very controlled experiments to, to prove Albert Einstein's information, just like we did with Carl Jung. We have to limit your, we have to make sure you don't understand reality so that you'll believe in Albert Einstein. Right? When you were created, a thermoelectric quantum phenomenon, right? Your creation happened faster than the speed of light, disproving the mathematics needed for all of Albert Einstein's equations to actually work in reality. And so we're asking, why does Albert Einstein's information fall apart 
in the quantum realm, in quantum mechanics? Well, because we know his math is flawed. There's no maximum and constant speed of light in a vacuum. How do we know that? Well, this is what we could track with our technology that Albert Einstein said was the maximum constant speed in a vacuum. But unfortunately, humans are, humans light travel into their body faster than that. There were some things that um, Einstein knew of and could not explain himself, like quantum entanglement. No, no, you know, it's an action faster than light, and it somehow happens over an almost infinite this is, period. This is Albert Einstein. Light is information, and information is light. They are a singularity. You can't have light without information, and you can't have information without light. And so what is quantum entanglement? He, from his own mouth, quantum entanglement is light traveling faster than the mathematics I need for my E equals MC2 to be correct. He said quantum entanglement disproved my e equals MC2. Quantum entanglement disproved my special relativity. And the world went, well, we, we've already started teaching this shit, so we can't have that get out. Right? We've already given you the archetype. We've already given you somebody to believe in, somebody to get behind and chant. Now the information is not right. Do we want the world to know that? Or just do we want to continue pointing the world down the wrong direction so a few men can continue in the right direction? I'm, I'm, I'm so fascinated you brought that up. So quantum entanglement disproves special relativity. Your thermoelectric quantum phenomenon or your creation disproves special relativity. A sonic light boom disproves <laughs> special relativity. There's three hard facts in three separate fields of science that disprove Albert Einstein's information. Why aren't we teaching it? It just kind of it fits into what we want. There you go. It fits the archetype. Right? It fits into what we want. Now, it can fit into what the rest of the world wants. I don't care. I don't want what the rest of the world wants. I want the truth. Right? That's all I want. I just want the truth. You guys believe in whatever you want. I'm going to hunt for the truth. Make sense? Yes, it does. It was very nice talking to you, Martin. Nice talking to you, sir. God bless. Very big fan of you for a very long time, and I'm glad I got to talk to you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you came on. God bless, sir. God bless. I'm going to check in my mail real quick. I'm just grab my wallet. Light is matter. Are you sure matter isn't light trapped in time? You know, time, it only exists for, for matter. Time doesn't matter if you're not matter. You think about that. Time does not matter if you're matter. Time only matters for matter. Oh, the sun feels good. Time only matters for matter. It's a very good question. Well, I'm gonna bring this person on. Hopefully, they come on while I'm asked their question. It's a very interesting one. Get my mail here. I like your cut, G. <laughs> Answer all their questions. No flap, a psychological operation to make you weaker. Literally, just a, just, a, just a thing to try and make you weak. Infinity, piece of sound upgrading equipment. Ooh. <gasps> My benefits. Hold on. Let me see here. Better picture. System cross. Dang, Puget Sound Energy. Look at this. I get a new electric meter.
Your energy was not created. You were just tied to time. Tie me to mass so I may exist in this construct that only exists for mass called time. It's in the name, time, tie me. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, anytime they're selling worms, you should buy them. Hmm. Radiation emitting meter. Hmm. Marvin the Martian. Well, you think how fascinating time only exists because matter is in motion, but when 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 light stops motion it becomes matter and time all of a sudden exists but anyways i got to get back on my tiktok i'll be on my tiktok for the rest of the day three minutes ago what's going on here Anyways, I'll be on my TikTok. You guys want to check out my TikTok. God bless. Thank you for your support. I might be back on here later. I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, what happens when you die? Can matter be reversed? Bye.